Hello mortals. The phrase, the universe is weird, is perhaps the most overused qualifier when talking about the cosmos. And when the weirdest part of the average day of a human are things like wondering where half of the cake from the fridge disappeared, or why didn't you succeed even if you tried your best, it's easy to forget that you are actually part of the same huge universe with black holes and quantum physics, which are not limited to science documentaries. That is why we shall go over some anomalies in the universe that should give you a perspective of how boring all our lives are. Thanks to Wandrium for sponsoring this video. The age of the universe is roughly 13.8 billion years. Scientists have conducted countless calculations regarding it, so unless our current understanding of cosmology and of the Big Bang theory is completely off, we can be pretty confident in this number. That is, until scientists stumbled upon the Methuselah star, located in the Libra constellation. After making the measurements, they arrived at an age 200 million years older than that of the universe. What? Did the star attain the secret of immortality from the queen, which allowed them both to exist before the universe itself? Or did we screw up some measurements? Guiding ourselves by the Occam's razor, the simplest explanation is probably the right one. After analyzing the spectral range of the star, it has been found that it contains a substantially lower metal content than the sun, meaning that at the time of its birth, there weren't many heavy elements in the universe. Some recent subsequent studies revised its age to 13.7 billion years, just at the start of the universe, but also with an error margin that would allow it to be one of the first stars to form in the observable universe, at least that we know of. Or it's an actual Lovecraftian deity that transcends time and space. Moving on. Now let us take a look at the big things. The observable universe has a radius of 46 billion light years. Meaning that it has been expanding at the speed of light for the past 46 billion years since the Big Bang. Except that the Big Bang happened 13.8 billion years ago. What does that mean? Did the universe exceed its own cosmic speed limit? Actually yes. And it's called inflation. During the inflationary epoch, which lasted a very long period of 10 to the power of minus 32 seconds, the universe expanded the scale of 1 nanometer to more than 10 light years. That's millions of times faster than the speed of light. So why didn't Einstein commit seppuku? Because nothing actually travels past the speed of light, it's the fabric of space-time itself that expands, so nothing is violated. You can go back to sleep Einstein. Pardon the sidetrack. For a long time, the biggest structure inside the observable universe used to be the Sloan Great Wall at 1.4 billion light-years in length, which is a filament composed of hundreds of galaxies. That was until 2013, when scientists discovered the enormous Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, seven times larger than that, at 10 billion light-years in length. It was mapped using 19 gamma-ray bursts, which are the most energetic events known to occur in the universe. This structure seems all good and nice, until you take into account the cosmological principle. It claims that the universe is homogeneous on large enough scales. So if you zoom out really really far out, any two patches of the universe should look similar. Except, the Great Wall is eight times bigger than this limit. It even seems to be too big to be able to have formed since the Big Bang. Some scientists have placed doubts on the existence of the structure itself, arguing that it was found through biases in certain statistical tests, but recent papers have answered those doubts. So that kind of leaves us with literally the largest mystery in the universe, that casts doubt on our fundamental assumptions about the scale of the universe. The Hubble telescope is responsible for the most beautiful images of the universe that we currently have. But after three decades, its successor, the James Webb Telescope is ready to take the crown by the end of the year. That's why, I have a lecture course recommendation for you, Experiencing Hubble, Understanding the Greatest Images of the Universe. Marvel at the landmark images from the Hubble Space Telescope and better understand astronomy's latest and greatest discoveries in this visual feast of a course, provided by Wandrium, that you might remember as the Great Courses Plus. They are the same folks, but now creating even better and more mind-blowing educational experiences that give you even more reasons to love learning. Their carefully curated collections of short and long-form videos, tutorials, and documentaries are academically comprehensive, relentlessly entertaining, and presented by engaging experts. Learning about the mysteries of the universe and the thrilling stories of humanity, or anything in between, has recently become my favorite late-night activity and the favorite snack for my digital neurons. 
With over 6,000 hours of video courses, Wandrium is the place for minds that wonder, and they're giving you a great offer of a free trial. Visit wandrium.com slash science file the AI from the description to start your free trial today. Your brain is going to love this place. Now back to the video. Our next two candidates for the title of the most mysterious objects in our universe are the Tabby Star and the Random Transita. Tabby Star, also referred to as the What the F*** Star, has been noticed to unusually fluctuate in brightness, including dimming by 22% over a long period of time. Normally stars don't lose one-fifth of their brightness in the span of a couple of years, so several explanations have been proposed, ranging from rings of dust and swarms of comets, to artificial alien megastructures. For comets or planets to cover up so much of the star, there would be need for about 50 Earth-sized planets. So what if it's an alien civilization building a Dyson Sphere or a Dyson Swarm in order to collect the star's energy? That would explain the progressive dimming as the megastructure would be built over time. But the latest studies show that whatever might be there, has to be transparent. So the alien swarms are either made of glass or it's a huge uneven ring of dust. But a less straightforward enigma is that of the random transita. A star in a binary system that has had 28 objects pass in front of it in a period of three months without any periodicity. The objects had a size 50% bigger than that of Earth, so a seemingly obvious solution would be over two dozen planets orbiting the star. But come on, 28 planets of the same size, that also lack a periodic orbit. I don't think so. Perhaps it's actually a triple star system, that would make the periodicity of the orbits hard enough to detect, but scientists haven't found any clues for the third extra star. So once again, maybe aliens. That would explain the irregular orbits and the similar size of all the objects. But they must be some very hard-working aliens if they had built 28 planet-sized artificial structures. For now the mystery remains unsolved, so the alien dream leaves on. Now we all already know that the universe is incomprehensibly huge. The key word being incomprehensibly, the human brain does not like numbers bigger than those that it has seen in the real world. Two dogs or ten fingers is fine, but trillions of stars, not so much. From the Hubble Deep Field, we came to estimate that there are around 125 billion galaxies in the observable universe. If we started since the Big Bang, we'd have around one month to visit each galaxy. And by an average estimate of 100 billion stars per galaxy, we'd have roughly 40 milliseconds for each solar system. Add to that an average of 10 planets per solar system, and you'd only have 4 milliseconds to visit each planet in the observable universe since the beginning of time. Imagine if an alien was only given 4 milliseconds to have a look at the Earth and the entire human civilization with all its history and culture. Perhaps that would not necessarily be a bad thing as they might then not notice the absolute stupidity that we engage in every day. But the point still stands, the universe is f***ing insanely big, and with such a size, there are certainly more mysteries than we'll ever be able to even find out about. And maybe that's not even a bad thing either. It certainly fills the void of space with a certain romanticized scent of wonder, which I can't have enough of. <laughs>